Good evening, everybody. Good evening. Good evening, teacher. One of your classmates told me that is on is on her way to the it's on her way to to on her way home and that's why uh, I decided to start it with the with this one to give her time to get into the class because we will be checking today the middle term test and I prefer to have all of you together. Okay. It's not time yet. We have time to discuss. Have you made your simple present tense affirmative sentences? Yes, no, hello. Jancy, do you have your affirmative sentences? Um, yes. Um, yes, I know. <laughs> if you don't have it, do it now. You have time. It's not time yet. One minute each sentence. <laughs> there were only four sentences. Bella Lorena, do you have your sentences? Yes, teacher. Okay. Uh, I think no. so. Uh, the, the, the presentation help you, I, I hope. The PPT. Because there you can find the examples. Do you want to read your sentences? Okay, I will try it. Okay. Um, if, okay, the first one is I lent my car. Uh huh. And the second one. She lends her car to her brother. Uh huh. And for the second bird, I have the first one. I let uh, Ken go out to the park. And the last one, she lets then go to the park for a walk. I don't know if I'm right. Okay. Let's see, let, like, let it go. Let's, okay. Yes, they are okay. And okay. someone else, Monica, do you have yours? Hello, teacher. Yes. Escucha. Yes. Um, uh -huh. The sentence. Okay. La firma. Eh, la, la, digo, Creo que tiene bastante problema con el internet, ¿verdad? Se le corta bastante. No, no se preocupe. Okay. Eh, ¿Se la digo en afirmativas, negativas o interrogativas? No, afirmativas, afirmativas. Okay. Yes. I pay for the food and she put milk on her 
I buy. I fight for the food. I fight. I fight for the food. Fight, F-I-G-H-T, fight. Or buy. I buy for the food, buy. B-U-Y, buy. Yes. Okay. And then you say, I buy food or I buy that food. Okay. I buy for the food. No, no. I buy the food or I buy uh, food. Just like this. You don't have to say, I buy for. No. You buy something. That's it. I buy the food. Okay. And the other one? He or she? Yes. He or she? She. Uh -huh. She buys. Tiene que ponerlo en tercera persona de singular. Guys. No se le oye. Bueno, este Elizabeth del Carmen, usted estaba pidiendo la. El, 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 yes. Usted estaba pidiendo. Para las oraciones. Sí, uh -huh. ah, okay. eh, she, she begins ballet classes in the National Dance School. Good. And, and I begin a new job in this, in this semester. Nice. Okay, nice. And the other bird? Other bird are, I break my cell phone, but my brother fixes it. And he breaks the record this week. Good, excellent. You are you 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 can you can write books now. <laughs> Very <Okay>. inspiring. <laughs> now, uh, Jessica Castro. Yes, teacher. Uh huh. Go ahead. My. My first verb is bring and build. My mother brings his own lunch to my house. My mother brings? His own lunch to my house. No, her. See, yes, your mother is her. My mother no, my, brings? My brother. Ah, brother. My brother yes. brings his own food to my house, okay? Yes. No, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> no confía in <en> your cooking. <laughs> the other okay. one. Uh -huh. I, I bring my laptop. Uh -huh. You bring your laptop. The other one? They build a stranger building. They build a strange building mm -hmm. and he built an ugly dog's house he builds an ugly dog's house okay nice excellent thank you thank you thank you someone else saben que los voy a poner ahorita que hay ya 17 personas lo voy a poner en los classrooms o sea así como divididos y entre ustedes se, 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 ¿cómo se llama? Se comparten sus oraciones y piden que los otros, uh, digamos, le piden a una persona que lo haga en negativo y a otra que lo haga en afirmativo. Pero, pero todos 
entre todos, ¿verdad? Lo voy a hacer entre tres personas. A ver. Once cinco. Okay. Now you can get and talk to each other, okay? Teacher, mire. Este, fíjese que yo no estuve en la clase de ayer, entonces no sé cómo. Mm, necesita que le dé sus verbos. Uh -huh, por favor. O, 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 o si quiere, ingrese y vea cómo es que ellos están trabajando y participe por lo menos de hacer las oraciones afirmativas negativas con ellos. Ah, vaya, está bien. Está bien. Ok, lo que puedo hacer es compartirle cómo va el... ¿Cómo van las oraciones? Quiero ver si las puse aquí. No, no las he puesto aquí. No las he puesto aquí. Uh, esto era para practicar. Voy a ver. El 6 creo que es. Bueno, así usted va a hacer las afirmativas uh -huh. y sus compañeros le van a pedir que la que ellos tengan en afirmativa la pasa a negativa o a interrogativa. Ok. ¿Verdad? Entonces, nice. este, eh, haga el, el de ellos y este, tiene, tiene su lista de verbos irregulares. ¿De los irregulares? Ajá. Sí. Vale, entonces, agarre, vaya contándolas. Eh, eh, las primeras las primeras son 30 y entonces eh, yo repartí as, hasta el 40 ayer entonces usted sería 41 y 42 va, está bien ok, está bien sí, gracias ya sabe este, ¿a qué grupo me diría entonces? Eh, yo creo que ya está asignada ¿su nombre? Natalia Ayala Sí, es, usted está en el quinto. Ah, ok. Ingresa en el suyo. Uh -huh. Va, gracias. Ok, pero yo entendí que eran presentes simples. No. Sí, sí, presentes simples. Afirmativas. Ok. Uh -huh. No podemos ocupar el, el continuo. I'm eh, going. Mm, no, presente simple. Es que si no, vas a tener que estar ocupando el verbo to be como auxiliar. Y entonces este, se le va a complicar un poquito más a la hora de hacer el... el... O sea, la idea es que ocupan eh, el presente simple, afirmativo, negativo, interrogativo. Ah, interrogativo también. Ah, ok. No, o, o sea, usted lo tiene que hacer en afirmativo y sus compañeros se lo tienen que pasar a negativo interrogativo. Ok. Este, ¿Alguien que sí ya lo tenga? ¿Kevin? Entonces sería hacer la pregunta ahora y que alguien la diga en negativo. 
No, usted la va a decir en afirmativo. Okay. Y le va a decir a alguna de ellas dos que se la pase, ya sea a negativo o a interrogativo, la que usted le da. Ok, entonces comienzo con el verbo play. Ajá. Uh -huh. eh, she flies on the plane. Y me podría decir eh, Catherine en negativo. ¿A quién le está diciendo? A uh, Catherine Irasema. No, no, ahí en el grupo solo está Doris y Yancy. ¿O hay alguien más? Sí, Catherine. Ah, sí, sí, también sí. está Catherine. <risa> Perdón, es que aquí no la miraba. <risa> Ajá. Ah, pues sí, eh, dígaselo en negativo al compañero. Me la repetí, por favor, es que a veces se escucha bien, bien lejos tu voz. <risa> Un poquito She más fuerte. On the plane. Otra vez. She, She flies, flies on the plane. Así, va como encima de, de, de no va adentro, sino que encima. Inside. Sí, pero es que cuando él estaba, usted también. I, I am teasing him, ¿ok? Solo, solo le entendí lo de, lo de she fly. She flies on, on the plane. The plane. On the plane. Eh, sería como she, she does not on the plane. She does not fly. Te faltó el verbo. Uh -huh. she, she, does, does. she does not She does not uh, fly Try. on the plane. Okay. Now, uh, you give your one of your sentences affirmative and ask somebody to make it negative or interrogative. ¿Tiene sus oraciones? Sí, tengo una de las que yo hice. She, she goes to the she goes to the party. Ah, to the party. She goes to the party. Ajá. Uh -huh. She goes to the party. Eh, ¿Quién de sus compañeros quiere que se lo haga? Ya sea afirmativo o negativo. Doris. Doris. Negativo. Negativo, ok. Bueno, eh, eran así, eh. ¿verdad? Entre todos ustedes, sus oraciones. Mencionan a alguien y le dice cómo lo quiere, si lo quiere negativo o, o interrogativo. Voy a ver los otros compañeros. Cuídense. Sí. ¿Cómo les está yendo? Soso. Ajá. Soso, uh, sí. eh, you have to give your affirmative sentence. Yes. And yes. ask somebody to do it either negative or interrogative. Yes. To make the change. Okay. Mm -hmm. Now let, let me listen to you. We are going, we are going friends. Eh, no, esa oh, es, yes. esa es presente continuo. Les pedí we presente simple. Entonces, ¿cuál era tu apellido? ¿Cuál era tu, tu, tu verbo? Eh, be. Be. To be. Ah, uh -huh. verbo to be. Entonces, solo tenés sí. que decir, este, I am or you are, y cualquier cosa. O sea, si estás en, podrías decir uh -huh. que estás en algún lugar, I am at home, or you are at church, or... Eh, he is my brother. Solo el verbo ser o estar. No es como auxiliar. Porque okay. cuando están diciendo I am going to, ahí estás eh, ocupándolo eh, como un futuro o un presente continuo. No, teacher. He said we are good friends. We are good friends. Ah, es que yo le oí going. No. Ah, we, we are, are friends. going good. Ah, no, ya ves, tú decís going. We are ah. good. We are good friends. Good friends. Ajá, por eso es que te entendí mal. Porque okay, de, no decís good, sino que going. <ríe> Entonces, sí, está bien. 
Está bien, entonces sí. que te hagan el, acuérdense que el verbo to be es auxiliar para sí mismo. No van a yes. ocupar ni do ni das. ¿Ok? Yes. Uh -huh. in, ne in negative will be, we aren't good friends. Excellent. Ok. And in, in interrogative uh, is, are we a good friends? Are we good friends? Are yeah. we? Okay, uh, excellent. You are doing well. Now with, with other other than B, the other ones. She's uh all the way later. She's she is all the way later. She is always late. No. Ah, late. She is always, que siempre llega tarde. Yes. Ah, okay. Correcto. Ajá. ¿Quién te lo va a hacer y cómo? Negative. She isn't always late. Okay, good. Go And ahead with the other ones. Okay. I will go to check another, another classmates. Okay. okay. Ay, ¿ya nos sacó? Ok. Ay. Ajá, ¿qué pasa? Falta las otras. No, no estoy la, con ustedes. La, la teacher aquí, está con nosotros. ¿Cómo están trabajando, monitoreando? La teacher está con nosotros. <risa> Creí que hace no estaba terminando el tiempo. No, no. Go ahead. Y, la, y, y con, el, con el verbo do sería my, la, la afirmativa. My uh -huh. brother does carpentry. Carpentry. ¿Cómo se dice carpintero? Carpentry work. Carpentry. Carpentry work. work. Uh -huh. eh, y la negativa es: My brother does not do carpentry. Carpentry. Does not do. Does not do. Does not do carpentry. Ajá, porque acuérdese que en este caso va a ser el auxiliar das. Sí, y el verbo do. El verbo principal do. Ajá. My brother does not do carpentry work. Excellent, excellent. Y la interrogativa sería: Does my brother do carpentry work? Excellent. But you are supposed to ask the other people to make the changes. You give the affirmative and, and say, for example, uh, Edenilson, please make it a negative. Okay? okay. Usted, usted lee la suya en afirmativo y le pide a alguien más que se lo haga, ya sea negativo o interrogativo. Eh, ya lo hicimos, teacher. Ah, okay. Teacher, Ajá. una consulta. Dígame. Y por ejemplo, las que son eh, interrogativas mías, Ajá. tengo que decir. Do I, o digamos sí, sí. que, sí. do I. Sí. Mm. Okay. Now, uh, I will go to check the other group. Thank you. <laughs> Thank uh, you. Uh, uh, sigan, sigan practicando. Yes. Okay. Okay. Sí. Sara. Hola. Pero, eh. Guay, qué raro se ve. Hello, okay. I want Hello. to listen to you. Yeah. <laughs> teacher, continue. continue. Is, teacher, I, ha, I have the question. Uh -huh. Is correct. Al eh, fin nos está dejando Juan Carlos verle. verle. No, lo que pasa es que he estado. Nice to see you. Nice ha, ha estado lloviendo <laughs> y me, ha tenido, me he tenido que conectar con mi celular. Entonces, para ahorrar datos, no pongo la cámara. Ah, ok. Fine. Teacher, es correcto decir. Do, do, I, I, do I? Yes, do I qué? Ah. Eh, o sea, ¿qué, qué, ¿qué es lo que quieres preguntar? Por ejemplo, Por ejemplo do, do I, I read the late? Do I come late? ¿Vengo tarde? Ah, Or okay. do, do I go to the cafeteria? O sea, ah. ¿sí? Así es. Teacher, is correct. Do you pay for the food? Or do do, you, pay, pay do you pay for the food? Yes. Ah, 
Yes, correct. Uh -huh. And another question? No. You are doing good. You are supposed to tell the affirmative sentence and ask somebody to change it to negative or to interrogative. Okay. 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 I will Thank go you. to check the, the last group. Okay. Thank you. You are doing well. Okay. You're welcome. Okay. Well, How are you doing here? <laughs> Sorry to come late. <laughs> How are you doing? <laughs> you doing well? Mm. But what do you do? Let, let me listen to your exercise. Okay. Alguien que diga la afirmativa? Me, teacher. Okay, go ahead. Uh, Bear fine. Uh, the tiger fine again the lion. Okay. The tiger find a? A guy, the lion. Contra, or with, with the lion. Ah. Oh. Eh, El león. Is, is fine or fight? Lucha. Es ah, fine. fight. Es luchar, luchar. Fight. The tiger sí. fights against. Again, perdón. Sí, uh -huh. again. The, the, the tiger fights against the lion. lion. Okay, uh -huh. good. Now, uh, someone to make it negative? Uh, no, usted tiene que decir a alguien de sus compañeros que se le haga negativo. De los que están ahorita. Sí, de los que en su grupo. Uh -huh. um, Sandra. Okay, Sandra. <laughs> la, 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 the, the tiger, tiger fights fight against, against the, lion. the lion. You make it negative. The tiger. It doesn't. Uh, the tiger doesn't. Es que ella se lo dice en afirmativo, the, usted lo tiene que decir en negativo. Entonces, uh, the, the tiger doesn't does not, uh -huh. fight uh -huh. against the lion. The lion. Uh -huh. okay. tiger the tiger doesn't fight the against the lion. The lion. Okay. Now we will. I guess that we are already uh, everybody here. Uh, we are going to check the. We are going to check the 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 the, the middle middle term exam. Okay. Open it in your browsers. Okay. Everybody back here. Supuestamente ya, ya. A ver. Close all rooms. Okay. And we will be checking the middle term exam. Okay. Creo que ya, ya, ya vino la compañera que andaba, que, que venía de camino. ¿Están viendo el examen? Yes. Sí. Yeah, I can see. Okay. 
¿Qué les pareció el ejercicio así? Para que interactuaran un poquito más rápido, lo, lo hice así. ¿Les pareció? ¿Les gustó? ¿Practicaron? Yeah. ¿Les gustó? Espero que sí. Yes, teacher. Espero yes, teacher. que sí. Yo me divertí escuchando a cada quien. Sentí que estaban yes, trabajando teacher. bastante bien cada grupo. Los felicito. Thank you. Este, eh, bien. Ahora vamos. Es que de esa forma sentí que eran más, en, en, en grupos más pequeños, más fácil que interactuaran entre ustedes, ¿verdad? Entonces, now, we will be listening to the first, uh, is, is your classmate already here, the one that was coming from work? Hubo una sí. compañera que me dijo que iba a venir tarde, ya vino. Mi teacher, thank you. Sí, ya estuvo. Bye. I will tell you en WhatsApp. Ok. Thank you. Ok, entonces ahorita vamos a hacer el examen ya. Entonces, este, si ya lo hicieron, solo es de verificar lo que usted ya hizo y si no lo ha hecho, aquí nadie se enteró que no lo hizo, hágalo ahorita. <risa> Ok, la idea es que tenga completado usted y que lo tenga correcto, ok. Vamos a escuchar primero. Este, pónganse todos en mute, solo escuchen. Lucy, Michael and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How do you spell that? M-A-R-C-E-A-U. I see. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh, is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada too. <laughs> really? Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go and get some coffee. Okay, Sylvie? Sounds great. Okay, listen again. Lucy, Michael, and Sylvie are talking. Listen and check the correct answers. Good morning, Michael. Hi, Lucy. How's it going? Pretty good, thanks. How about you? Great. Hey, who's your friend? This is Sylvie Marceau. She's from Canada. Hi, Sylvie. Nice to meet you. I'm Michael Morse. Hi, Michael. It's good to meet you, too. I'm sorry, Sylvie, but what's your last name again? Oh, it's Marceau. How? Okay. Who is Sylvie? Sylvie Lucy is... is Lucy's, Lucy's friend. friend. Lucy's friend. Okay. Lucy's friend. And Sylvie's last name is... Marceau. Marceau. You. How do you spell that? A A R C E A U. I see. This one. Okay. Yes. Yes. Sure. yes. Now. So you're from Canada. Are you from Toronto? No, I'm from Montreal. Where are you from, Michael? I'm from Chicago. You know, Sylvie and I are in the same chemistry class this semester. Oh, really? Yeah. And what do you do, Michael? Are you a student here too? Yes, I am. Lucy and I are in the same math class. Oh, 
Is your class interesting? Yes, it is. It's very interesting. And the teacher is really good. By the way, he's from Canada too. <laughs> really? Well, Lucy's math teacher is really good. Really good. Listen, I'm on my way to the cafeteria now. Are you free? Sure. Let's go and get some coffee. Okay, Sylvie? Sounds great. Okay, they are all the in, in the same school. school. In the same school. They are not in the cafeteria yet. They are going to go. Okay. Now, uh, the second conversation. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice, too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Say, Ben, what size are you? Small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. Okay. Listen again. Anne and Ben are talking in a clothing store. Listen and check the correct answers. Hey, those shirts look nice. What do you think, Ben? Yeah, Anne, they do look nice. I really like the blue ones, and the green ones are nice, too. Which ones do you prefer? I think I like the green ones better. They're... Okay. Ben prefers the... Green shirts. Green shirts. Green shirts. Green shirts. Okay. Very stylish. Oh, but look at the price. $41. That's expensive. The blue ones are only $29. Okay. The blue shirts are? $29. That's more reasonable. But they're polyester. The green ones are made of better material. They're cotton. Safe. Okay. The green shirts are made of? Cotton. 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 Ben? What size are you, small or medium? I wear a medium. But there aren't any medium ones in blue. They're all large or small. Okay, medium. what medium. size medium. is Ben? Medium. 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 Okay. Medium. Correct. You are good students. Now, uh, everybody has the right answers? Yes. Yes, yes. everybody? Okay. Yes. Now, yes, let's teacher. go to the next. B, fill in the blanks. Um, with the correct form of the verb to be. Where are, are you, you from? from? Where are you from, Teresa? I'm from Mexico City. I am from Mexico, Mexico City. City. How about How you? you? How about you? Now, David is in your class. Is David, David in your in class, your class in, the semester? in the semester? Yes, yes. 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 Where well, we are in the same class. In the same class. 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 Okay. Class. What? Yes, your what math class, 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 class. What? Is your, what is your math, math, your math, math. class? Is your math class like? It's really, it really interesting in the teacher's grade. Okay. 
Maria and Brian from Canada. Aquí les falta they are. No, no, they are from England. Okay. No, they are. Uh -huh. Now, complete the following conversations with simple presence. Where do you, do you work? Do you work? Do Where you do work? you work? I work in a restaurant. I work in a restaurant. I work in a restaurant. I am. What does he do? Does he do, does he do exactly? Exactly. Exactly. He's a pilot, a pilot for global airlines. Where does she go, go, to, go, go to school? She goes to the University of Colorado. Colorado. Okay. Excellent. Everybody has the right answers? Yes. 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 Let's go on then. Okay, choose the right possessive adjective. Nice to meet you, Rich. And what's your, 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 your last name, your last name again. again. Okay, last name is partner. My. My. My, My last name is partner. It's nice it's to nice meet you too. Nice this is my new friend, Elizabeth. Everybody calls her me better. Her Beth. Hi Beth. We're the Johnsons. Our our, our, our first names name are, are Frank, Frank and Judy. And Judy. You choose the object pronouns. Okay. Johnny Deep is my favorite actor. I like. Him. 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 A lot. A lot. A lot. Music videos aren't very Are interesting. Do you like them? Them. them. Es feo preguntarle a alguien si le gusta o no le gusta después de haber dado una 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 apreciación negativa sobre las cosas. <risa> Está, está como la gente que dice, ¿verdad? Este, a la gente que le gusta tal cosa es tonta, ¿verdad? Y a ti te gusta. <risa> Obvio que aunque le gusta, uno va a decir no. <risa> My favorite TV program is Survivor. What do you think of it? It. 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 Ok. Okay, 20 over 20. Nice. Wait, ¿Todos lo tienen correcto? Yes. yes. Vamos al siguiente. Yes. Fill in the gaps with the correct time expressions. I sleep. At, at 10 p.m. At, on, at weekend. 10 PM on weekend. At 10 p.m. on weekend. At 10 p.m. on weekend. Weekdays. John gets home late at, at, at night. night. At night. At night. At night. They have lunch on Saturday. Saturday. On Saturday. On Okay. I go to bed around 11. In the evening, we have class in the morning. In the morning, in the morning. Okay. 
Fill in the sentences with the demonstrative pronoun. How much is this watch? This watch. This watch. This watch. Because it's just one and you have it. Okay. Look at those purple jeans over there. Aren't they stylish? I like this. They look great on me. These gold earrings, they look great on me. Okay, excuse me, I like. That cup. That. Can I see it, please? please? That cup. Can I see it, please? She likes those. Those, those glasses those. over there. Those glasses over okay. there. Over there. Okay, correct. You're genius. <laughs> uh, everybody has the correct answers. Yes. 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 Okay. Let's check the last one. Reading. Well, we will be reading this at least twice. I will read it first. You follow the reading, and then I read and you repeat. Okay. Okay. Hi, Ernesto. In your email message, you ask me. What do I do every day? Well, I'm a student at the University of Michigan. I really like my classes. I study computer science and Chinese. I go to school around eight in the morning on weekdays. Around noon, I have lunch with some classmates. On Mondays and Fridays, I work out in the gym before my classes. And in late afternoon on Tuesdays and Thursdays, my friend Daniel and I have a par have part-time jobs. We work in the school cafeteria and I study in the library every weeknight until about 2 a.m. I'm a full-time student and I don't have time to watch TV. And what do you do? Send me another email, please. Your new e-friend, Chris. Okay, now listen and repeat. Hi, Ernesto. Hi, Hi Ernesto. Hi, Ernesto. In your email message, in your email, email message, message, you ask me, you ask me, what do I do every day? What do I do every day? Every day. Well, I am a student at the University of Michigan. Well, well, well I am a student at the University of Michigan. I really like my classes. I really like my classes. I study computer science and Chinese. I study, I study computer science, science and Chinese. Chinese. I go to school around eight in the morning. I go to school around eight in the morning. On weekdays. On weekends. On weekends. weekdays. No, weekdays, no es weekend, weekdays. 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 weekdays son los días de la semana. Weekend es fin de semana. Fin de semana. Okay. Weekend. Y y sabían ustedes que el fin de semana nosotros los latinos lo tomamos mal. Porque el Why? fin de semana no es sábado domingo, el fin de semana es viernes sábado. El domingo es el primer día de la semana. Mm. ¿Verdad? Entonces, este, por ejemplo, los, los, los que son musulmanes y los que son así... Judíos. Los, los judíos, los adventistas también, del séptimo día, ellos dejan de estudiar, trabajar o hacer cualquier tipo de actividad desde viernes, cuando cae la noche, 
Seis. Hasta el sábado cuando cae la noche. ¿Verdad? Entonces, porque ese es el fin de semana. Entonces, ellos ya lunes pueden ir a estudiar, no hay problema y todo eso, a trabajar, lo que sea. Eh, 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 no, perdón, desde el domingo pueden trabajar y todo eso, pero ellos desde el viernes en la noche hasta el sábado en la noche es, no hacen nada. Bueno, es más, este, yo iba a un edificio, eh, en el edificio donde, donde yo iba a mi iglesia, era un edificio judío. Y entonces, este, ni siquiera el ascensor apretan, sino que el ascensor queda en automático. O sea, que el ascensor va deteniéndose en cada uno de los pisos, porque ni siquiera ese trabajo de apretar el, el botón del ascensor hace. Yo guardo. <risa> Se, se cae la mamá y se quiebra la pierna y hasta el, hasta, hasta el domingo en la, la mañana la van a recoger. <ríe> Bien. Eh, weekdays. Around noon. Around, around, around noon, noon. I have lunch with some classmates. I, I have lunch with some classmates. On Mondays and Fridays, on Mondays, Mondays and Fridays, Fridays, I work out in the gym. I, I work out, work out, out in, the in the gym, gym. before my classes. Before, before, before my, my classes. classes. And in the late afternoon, and, and in the late, late afternoon, on Tuesdays and Thursdays. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, my friend Daniel and I, my friend Daniel and I, have part-time jobs. Part-time jobs. We work in the school cafeteria. We work in the school cafeteria. And I study in the library every weeknight. And I study, I study in, in the, the library, library every weeknight. Until about 2 a.m. Until, Until about, about 2 a.m. I am a full-time student. I am a full-time full full student. And I don't have time to watch TV. And what do you do? And what do you do? Send me another email, please. Send me another email. Your new friend, Chris. Your new friend, Chris. Okay, now let's answer here. Ernesto is Chris. New friend. New friend. New friend. New friend. Chris is a full time, full -time, full -time student. Full -time student. student. Daniel is Christian. Uh, is Chris friend. Christian friend. Is Chris friend. On Tuesdays and Thursdays, Chris. Work, work, with work, work, with work, work, with Daniel, okay. Miren, solo dos veces lo leyeron y ya se lo podían. No, si es que son inteligentes. A ustedes ya no me lo deportan en la, en la frontera. <laughs> okay, yeah, uh, everybody has the right answers? Yes. Yes. Okay, yes. with this we finish, with this we finish the third section and the middle exam. So next week on Monday we will be starting section four, okay? But now since we have, we still have some time, have you, all of you finished with the exercise we were doing? Todos terminaron con el ejercicio que estábamos haciendo? Yes, teacher.
Yes. ¿Sí? Yes, yes. Bien, entonces vamos a ver, este, yo les tengo aquí como, como para que hiciéramos un, una, una pequeña práctica de, como repasito de lo que hemos estado viendo. ¿Verdad? We have been seeing the simple present tense. And this guy says that books are the means by which we build bridges between cultures. Los libros son el medio eh, por el cual construimos eh, puentes entre Cultura. culturas. Cultura. Okay. Por eso a mí me duele cuando todo el mundo dice cuando... Cuando vinieron los españoles y nos quemaron todos nuestros libros, solo el Popol Vuh sobrevivió. Nosotros teníamos belleza de libros. Bueno. Eh, we have here the adjectives, the comparative and the superlative, ¿ok? Now, eh, I will tell the adjective and... Uh, you will tell me the comparative and the superlative, okay? Now, este es comparative, no es compatative, okay? Ahí se equivocó la secretaria que soy yo. <laughs> Bien, long. Long. Longer. Longer than? The longest. The longest. The longest. And the longest, the longest. okay? Now, dry. Dry, dryer than the dryest. The dryest. The dryest. Big, 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 Good. Better than, 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 than the, the best. best. Bad. Worse than, than, than the worst. The worst. The worst. Se fijan aquí hay de todo, ¿verdad? Hay yeah. adjetivos cortos, adjetivos largos y los adjetivos que son irregulares. Son estos dos últimos. Ok. Now, and we have here other... Uh, positive, uh, comparative, and superlatives. Okay? Short. Shorter than. Shorter than. Shorter than. Lazy. Nice. 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 More interesting. More interesting. Okay. These ones are the irregular ones. Okay. Good. Better than. Better than. Best. Best. Bad. Okay, thank you. Now, uh, this is uh, this is like um, extra material, okay? In 
in English, we can use more than just one adjective to refer to one noun, but it has to be in the exact order, okay? It has an order. Maybe you can, you are not, uh, will not use all of them, but they have to keep their order, okay? You cannot uh, use first the pattern and then the opinion, no. You, you use first opinion, then size, after that shape, then condition, then age, color, pattern, origin, material, and purpose, okay? It's a specific order. It, it, this is called the real order of adjectives. O sea, el, el, el real orden de los adjetivos. And many people uh, have problems in the TOEFL or the TOEIC test. The TOEFL test is a test that you are required to take when you want to go to study uh, overseas. Que cuando usted quiere ir a estudiar a otro país, le piden el TOEFL test para ver si usted va a poder académicamente este, recibir las clases, ¿verdad? Claro que si va a ir a España no le van a pedir el TOEFL test. Se lo, se lo piden si va a ir a un de, de idioma inglés o, por ejemplo, también este, cuando usted va a Japón o a China también se lo piden porque las clases, créamelo o no, eh, cuando van así, eh, que son internacionales, las clases son en inglés. No, no le piden japonés, no le piden chino. Allá puede estudiar japonés y chino, ¿verdad? Para estudiar otras materias, pero cuando usted va así como de intercambio, eh, las clases se las dan en inglés. Ok. Sometimes there is more than one adjective in a sentence, and there is an order they must be followed. You won't always find them all in one sentence. And then we have here also the possessives. We have the possessives uh, with uh, uh, apostrophe S. And it is also known as gen genitive or Saxon genitive, okay? And we use it to say that something belongs to somebody. Now, we have some, some uh, rules to form this. And these are the rules, okay? These are the rules. Como esto yo siempre se los paso, ustedes ahí lo leen tranquilitos. Um, Singular eh, apóstrofe S, ok, James House, ok, la casa de Jane, ok, that's my friend's bike, la, la, a la hora de traducir se traduce al revés, si fíjense que yo digo, esta es la casa de Jane, o sea, de atrás, hacia adelante, ok, that's, esta es, este es my friend's bike, la bicicleta de mi amigo, o sea, ese apóstrofe S significa de, ok, pero cuando son plurales que llevan S, como por ejemplo boys, entonces no se pone después de la S apóstrofe y otra vez S, sino que solo se pone la apóstrofe después del plural. ¿Ok? Entonces, these are the boys' deses. Este, cuando una cosa eh, pertenece este Digamos, en este caso, a la tía de Ana. O sea, el carro de la tía de Ana. O sea, si se fijan, el carro de la tía de 
Ana. Ana. ¿Ok? Y cuando pertenece a dos personas. Eh, this is Carol and Tony's house. O sea, si se fijan, no lleva al apóstrofe aquí, sino que Carol and Tony's house. La casa de Carol y Tony. ¿Ok? Then we have, if, if the name ends in S, like James, este, solo se pone el apóstrofe. St. James Park, el parque de Santiago. <ríe> Créanme, a mí siempre me da risa cuando, cuando sé que James es Santiago. Porque... Eh, cuando, cuando, cuando me pongo a pensar en James Bond, ¿verdad? O sea, yo soy Bond, Santiago Bond. Qué feo se oye en español. <risa> <risa> ok. Ven, eh, cuando es, cuando es mm -hmm. un plural, un plural irregular como human, entonces así no hay problema porque se pone apóstrofe <risa> S, ¿verdad? O sea, ustedes saben que children es un plural irregular, que no termina en S. Eh, men también es un plural, plural irregular y human también. Entonces, ahí sí se pone apóstrofe S. Pero este, no llevan apóstrofe los pronombres posesivos, como yours, hers, its, ours, theirs. Esos son pronombres posesivos, no llevan apóstrofe. ¿Verdad? Bueno, yo esto se lo voy a hacer llegar porque ya es hora. Entonces ustedes lo leen por su cuenta. ¿Verdad? Acuérdense que este es material extra que yo le doy. ¿Verdad? ¿Por qué? Porque me gusta que ustedes sepan más. ¿Ok? Thank you, Tisha. Ok. See you on Monday. And you are doing a good job. Continue with section four. ¿Ok? Bye, bye. Hey, bye, 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 bye. bye. bye.